Hey everyone, my name is Titanic, and welcome back to another, to another episode of Titancraft Season 10. So, um, I start out by apologizing that here we are on the first day of a new day this week. God knows how long this one lasts. Maybe a day, maybe two, maybe three, maybe four, maybe five. Or maybe we'll break the one we just lost and get to six, because I honestly you forgot to record yesterday. All of a sudden, I am sitting watching TV with my dad, just relaxing. I'm like, I have 70 minutes before midnight. And I was gonna, at first I was gonna rush to my computer and record like a five minute episode for you guys, and I'm like, what's the point? We're not doing a formal daily streak. Why rush out a bunch of BS content? And so I'm like, you know what, we're just gonna continue enjoying ourselves, and we're just gonna skip a day, and here you guys have a nice Sunday upload. Um, and off camera, I have been working on the lighthouse, and I wanna, um, finish that off with you guys today. Now, this is the build I've been hinting at all week, um... I did a lot of it off camera because I really wasn't sure what I was doing. I did some designing in a creative world and I was tabbing back and forth a lot. But basically, it's way, way smaller than the previous lighthouses. But it took what I liked from the season 5 one and expanded on that. Because the season... As proud as I was of myself in seasons 3 and 4 when I made... Well, I mean, season 4 was literally the, the exact same as the season 3 lighthouse. But my season 3 lighthouse, I was like super incredibly proud of. It had a lot of flaws with it. And although this one's not perfect because it's not as... It's it's a little small for a lighthouse. I mean, to have the detail that it should, but it works. And so today we're just gonna finish some of it up. I'm also drawn by Clash, if you can't tell. No. Unlike yesterday, I don't completely feel like I have the coronavirus. I don't feel great, but I. So was this your brain? Was this your body? Maybe. Who knows? There's John. Oh no, I'm just eating some playing sounds. Oh, yeah, oh so no! Cheaty, so cheaty, game breaking, ban. Slash I know, it's, it's game breaking, it's not like I'm doing this. Reminds me of the one day when I did slash ban on, an, on as a joke to somebody, and then I had a part in them. And then people could see on camera the list of banned players, and I'm like, oh god, oops. Sorry. Yeah, it's not like I, it's not like I just pushed F three and like I just did twice. Although like, to be honest, like, why why I feel bad for showing the names of people that are banned, I don't know. There's like that there's that common decency in me that I just don't like being a dick, and I don't I don't want to call people out. Like I don't want to say, oh yeah, look at all these bad people we've had in the group over the years. Oh, like that's not my style. I think I've made that pretty clear over time. Is I don't like just insulting people. Um, I try to be pretty private with who who joins and who leaves. I mean, the group's composition has changed a lot in recent months, and it's still very rapidly evolving. Oh, I mean, if you watch the descriptions of these episodes, there are titans going on and off that list constantly. Now, I think one big problem we have, and I talked about this a few days ago in an episode, might have been the last episode even, um, that we have a real issue with people just sign joining the group, like deciding, oh, I think it'd be fun to apply, and then they get in. And then they do nothing, and either they leave on their own or they get kicked for an activity within, like, three months. Like, it's... the I mean, Titancraft has a notoriously high turnover rate because of that exact reason. People join the group for whatever reason. They don't do anything, and then... <sighs> you gotta kick them. Are you dead? I don't know, I'm all of a sudden really tired and my eye hurts. Oh. Of course you get tired right as I start recording. <laughs> um, commit Titan rant. Commit Titan rant, I don't know. It's the new series after Titan Grab. I mean, obviously, my for those of you who don't know, my IRL name is Grant, and I've always wanted to make a show called The G-Rant. And, I don't know, if I have a podcast, maybe that's, a, probably, that's probably what I'd call it, um... I don't know, there has been discussion, we've had a, I mean, for sure Log and I have discussed the possibility of having a Titan Crap podcast after season 10. No, I mean, Titan Rant. Titan Rant, yeah. But I mean, a podcast could be a lot of fun, and although I'm not like super serious about the idea of doing one, because it's just something that I'm not really sure it's truly my style to do. It Hello, could... Drongler Nation. It's your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get right into the no, nudes. No, don't do it. No, we did it. I don't know. My right eyes are watering. My left eye refuses. Yeah, I mean, of course, Titancraft, the Titancraft series itself turns into a much of a, an almost into a podcast at times. And I've, 
I heard mixed opinions. Yeah. There are there are some people here that actually really like that I do that, that I take Titancraft in such a podcasty type of style. And I mean, I personally am mixed about it. I do like being able to do these chatty kind of episodes because I mean, I feel more genuine being or, like talking about some of this. I mean, I try to. I mean, I've always made it my take that I try to not do too many hot takes, and I usually, if I do, I try to make it with. At least enough evidence that m the common person can say, "Yeah, I see why you think that." Like that is my that is my approach I see it. Yeah, to I see what you're gay. controversial. What did you just say about gay? Yeah, I see why you're gay. Hell, I'm not gay. I mean, the stupid video YouTube recommended me yesterday, and it's just like it's some guy, and I think it's Uganda interviewing this person, and his question is, "Why are you gay?" Except it's in a, uh, except the accent makes it better. Oh my god, it's so funny. The accent turns it from a normal question to yes. Well, yeah, because the video is like, it's this guy introducing this person, he's like, why are you gay? And the, and the person getting interviewed is like, who says I'm gay? And the, then the interviewer just pauses and looks at that person dead in the eyes and said, you are gay. <laughs> Like, it is the funniest thing. Like, that type of shit being on YouTube is why I don't quit this hellhole whole time. Wait, wait, I refuse this to stop and actually, I take that back. YouTube, as much as I give it shit for, um, isn't even half as toxic as Twitter, which is the one platform that I legitimately, the, especially the last, like, month or two, eh. Actually, I take that back. Since, like, basically since, like, June. I have been contemplating leaving Twitter for a while because is I, I only stay on Twitter because of all the great information I get on Twitter about like meteorology stuff um, or game updates, but Twitter is like the most toxic hellhole in the world and I get so sick of it at times. I'm like, oh. Remember, there's always something, there's always something to someone, there's always something to top another. Get more. I mean, I will say at least um Instagram is a little less toxic than Twitter, which is funny because I have an Instagram account. I don't have a YouTube one. But I have a personal one, but I never use Instagram. Like, I I think the last time I used my Instagram account was like fifteen months ago. Like, I I check Instagram like once. May no, I I check Instagram yeah, I like once. Now, right now. No. I check, like, I check Instagram, but, like, I completely stopped posting on there. I, like, I I had a phase, though, where I posted all sorts of stuff. It was kind of fun. But, again, it was a personal account, so I never shared any of it with YouTube since. I mean, that, that's that been one thing I've kind of had a policy of, is for the most part, if it's a Titanic account, I'm very public with it. If it's not a Titanic account, I am not public with it. Is there something wrong with... I mean, why are you making murdering dolphin noises? Because they're a neutral mob. Because everyone ganks until they punch the dolphin. Has anybody I ever... Know, I would mob. say, has anybody ever told you you're a weird person? But then I'm like, I have. Don't. Punching a dolphin. Why would you do it? Like, I'm serious, why? I don't know, dolphins are cute. Hey, there's one over there. A bunch of... You like, ever... Who thinks that? How do you actually were gonna go punch him? Like, you cruel human being. It's a squid. It's not good bowling, though. Oh! Oh, yeah! I should talk about that! Thank you! We're only nine minutes in the episode. I haven't even mentioned my thoughts on the new update yet. Oh, boy, do I have some thoughts today. And this is actually, like, kind of funny, because the last few times we've done these update talks, I usually have, like, an um, hour-long... Oh, my God, that scared me. I usually have, like, an hour-long rant on this crap about why I have a problem with the new update. Now this could be a three-minute rant. For once, surprisingly, color me impressed with what Mojang did. I don't mind what I'm seeing. I've been really worried that a cave update would completely mess things up and the unique ca the old classic caves would be gone forever. But Mojang has promised not to do that and 
The cliffs look awesome. I mean, I love the goats. I can't wait to watch one of my friends get shoved off a cliff. It'll be hilarious. Um, You better have feather falling. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to the addition of the um, Warden mob and the Deep Dark biome. That's going to be really cool. Like, it's going to be... Wait, I didn't really... Wait, what the Deep Dark biome? I, didn't... I actually forgot about that, that. That's where the Warden spawns. Oh, well, I didn't remember the name of it. Yeah, it's the Deep Dark. It's the... Because it constantly, like, fades into... I didn't know where you the Dark Web. Crap, <laughs> crap, crap. What? I was trying to like do this little design here with this ladder, and then I'm like, I'm not gonna have enough red concrete powder to complete the pattern. <laughs> yeah, I can find some red concrete powder. Oh yeah, so helpful. <laughs> Big Brian. <sighs> you know what this calls for? What? Okay, we're gonna try something new. Also, speaking of like miscellaneous items, the new the new bag thing of a Duhaba, whatever you call it, the the new like bag you can condense your items into. Oh, you yeah, get that thing? I forgot about that. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's not it's, like eh. it's, it's, it's not it's, backpack, but it works. Yeah, I mean, I can. I mean, at first I'm like, why are you doing this? And then as they explain the logic, I mean, for and I mean now the more I think. Yeah, that's what I was questioning too. But like as they realize, as they point out, like if you look at my inventory right now, like I have five sticks, five red concrete, six redstone lamps, one concrete putter, two iron doors, two f fences, like all or one book and quill. Like I have all these things that are just a couple of items, and to be able to condense them into one slot is brilliant and so i will admit yes, it kind of shows that backpacks aren't actually just because when we have shulker boxes for that and number two wait a minute what? i'm gonna be that able to can hold 64 items right yeah i don't i think this is gonna be like the ender chest the ender chest you cannot Dang it. i mean they... <laughs> well i mean no I mean, I well, not like the inner chest. I think it's gonna be like the um the mechanic shulker boxes have that you can't put them inside of themselves. I'm assuming because otherwise you could literally have a stack of shulker boxes in every bag in your inventory. Except for the fact that that would be really annoying to open up. Exactly. Oh my god, the amount of items that would spew out everywhere. Oh. <laughs> oh, that would be bad. <laughs> If you're talking about crash the, crashing the game, I know what to do. Oh, if you want to crash the game, just set up, just spawn about one thousand minecart, uh, TNT thingy, Maduhob, TNT minecarts, and then move them. No, your game goes boom. Somehow, somehow, create. Yeah, and actually, do that. Yeah, get like how we get like a hundred thousand, even though I think it would. The game would crash at, the, at that entity limit or heavily lag at the entity limit. I don't know. But, um, and then touch it. Continuing into my discussion. Um, overall, though, I'm really happy with what I see of this update so far. I mean, I'm, again, I'm. I've gained a level of notoriety, at least amongst people that know me, that I criticize a very, very large majority of what Mojang does. But. I mean, they're obviously trying to help everybody here with this update. They're trying to give a little bit of... They're trying to preserve old caves. They're trying to give new caves. I mean, the mountains revamp is amazing with how they're making all the terrain more dynamic. I mean, the unique water levels underground, absolutely awesome. I mean, the new mobs, like, it's a really, really cool update. Now, the one thing that is controversial here, and that I don't know how the community is ever going to be able to get along about ever again... Is that mob boat? <laughs> the community's about to stab itself. Yeah, I mean, basically, the community is in an absolute uproar over it. And. I mean, my two cents is I think the Moobloom should have won. I think the Moobloom was the coolest thing up there. I'm sorry if you disagree with me. If you disagree with me, you're wrong. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> just being straight up, just like, you know what? You're wrong. Yeah. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that style today. Um, But no, like, in all seriousness, like, I was, 
I was sad the Moobloom didn't win. I didn't think it was gonna win, but I mean, I'm not very excited about the Glow Squid. I I I think it's gonna be highly underwhelming. I didn't know it didn't actually glow. Yeah, but I still don't want another Illager. We've had so many of these stupid Illager type of mobs now, and then I'm like, I don't want another one. And that's why when we we'll work on the illusion. when the Moobloom won or lost, I mean, and we had to go to the next round, I'm like, okay. I am going to now join on Team Glow Squid. And even though I'm not a huge fan of the Glow Squid, because I honestly think it's going to be a very useless mob that, from what I'm hearing, isn't even going glow, to glow. glow. Um, it should have glowed. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's going to glow, to be honest, though, because I feel like Mojang is going to see the backlash on that one and realize they better do something. I mean, if there's one thing I could tell from this Minecon... It's that the backlash we've given them the last few years has really woken some of them up. Like, has awoken. It has awoken. But I mean, like, you can definitely tell some of the criticism that they don't listen to a lot of the community. I mean, the fact that they're doing the cave update has been demanded by so many people. But I mean, even if you look at other aspects of this patch here, like the fact that, um, um, that they are working to preserve the old caves, like, the last couple of updates, Mojang has been like, what's an old part of the game? Replace, replace, replace. And, and god damn it. Um, and so I think this, and I mean, when they went, about, went over the, their little, like, tracker of trying to see what aligns with everybody's different play style, like, they are making an honest effort to appeal to everyone with this patch. And, w and to that, I really gotta say, I appreciate Mojang's effort here. They are trying something for once, and I'm going to definitely commend them for it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna criticize that move. And so, if you think all I, if you think my only goal in life is to be to be critical of Mojang, first of all, you're wrong. And second of all, um, I gotta say I'm really happy with what I'm seeing so far in this in this development cycle. I mean, it's the first patch I can tell you in a long time. I think I'm going to look forward to. I am going to look forward. I mean, I really wasn't that excited for the Nether update. I mean, 1.15 was kind of just there. Had no 1.14 when it came out at the time I had no interest in it. 1.13 I was I was furious about it. Um 1.12 was probably the last update like I was sitting there like absolutely pumped for its release. Like 1.12 I was beyond hyped for. I was so excited for that update. And it came out just in time for season 5 at the time and so like that was, I think, one of the biggest successes of it is that we had that. Also, I just re I mean, at least this time we get a mid-season patch, but it's, it feels kind of funny that we we kicked off season five on a new patch, like we did this season, and um, with the release in twenty twenty one, there's a there's a very good chance we will not get the game. We will not get one point seventeen till the very end of the season, which is honestly quite upsetting to me. I. <laughs> And I was hoping when they were announcing, I thought they were, I mean, I know it's been in development a long time, but just with how far along a lot of the update looked, I was like thinking, oh, maybe what are they going to say? It's going to come out around Christmas. Or a little after, like, January. I mean, that, like, that was, would have, in my opinion, been the ideal thing, would have been roughly a Christmas release. I mean, Christmas, January. Yeah. yeah. I mean, to be honest, if it doesn't come out by, if it doesn't come out in January, I will hope it waits till June. Like, I'm going to be so busy in the spring months that I'd actually rather the patch wait a little longer so that way it drops when I'm actually able to play it. <laughs> like, I, I'm just going to, like, you get to an age where you kind of accept some of that, and, like, I'm just going to flat out say, I'd rather wait a little bit longer for a patch. You like Arrow? You like Arrow. I missed. I like Arrow. What are you doing with arrows? I missed. Good job. Twice. Except for the second time, it wasn't quite as much. The second one was off by a mile. The first one was off by a mile. The second one was off by a few meters. Do you want to make some torches? He's going to randomly stuff torches. <laughs> you said evasive torches. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna be clever here though. Like this is boatman style. We're gonna put this layer here so that way the transition. Where? I mean, just like systematically find a way to place them. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. I can't do this. Do that. 
Is that like fine? Yeah. I mean, if you want to go do some torches on the bottom level too, then to help give some light. I mean, we're on a mushroom island still, so technically, um, we're good in here for spawning. But I just don't want it to be so obnoxiously dark in here that you come in here and say, like, oh, it's dead. <laughs> light level zero. Wait a minute, those torches are not in the right on the right block. Oops. They're not in the right bloke. But yeah, I am. Oh, great! I'm going to go get some more wood. Just, to, I'm just barely. Grum. I'm just like barely short. But yeah, I mean, again, I'm really excited for what I'm seeing right now. Um, I think it's gonna be the best update we've had in a long time. I think. I mean, now I should clarify. This update, as excited as I am, and I'm definitely gonna try it out in a brand new world. Do not. And I better make this very clear on camera right now. Because I've already said publicly that I plan on this being the last season. Do not think this is going to like suddenly magically change my mind. I'm going to be confirming a Titancraft Season 11. I'm not ruling out a Season 11. But I will tell you very bluntly all right now. If you think this is me. If, this, if you think this has anything to do with a Season 11. You're out of your damn mind. Because if there is a season 11, I will promise you it will not be very quick after season 10. It will not be like the season 5 deal where we're like, yeah, another season, let's go. Right after we said for a year we went to have another season. And then, you know, that mess. Like, I'm taking a break after the season is over because I'm going to need it. Especially with how many more. Plot twist for you 1.5. Oh, totally. That'd be funny. Um, <laughs> but definitely a case of I want to try it out now. I will. Ad I am thinking about doing another. I for the first time in a long, long, long time, I am contemplating doing another Minecraft single player let's play of sorts to celebrate when the update drops, and we'll see. Uh, I have my ideas for what that let's play would look like. I'm not gonna tell you guys yet because it's a surprise, but um. I do have my ideas for what a single player let's make it look like that would be in a style that I think is better for me and more entertaining for all of you. Because I mean, I, I want a combination. Because I will admit, I am, I a lot of my attempts to do a survival let's play, I burn out and it never goes anywhere. And so, if we try something a little differently, maybe we'll have some better. Yeah. But yeah, that's gonna do it for today's episode. I hope you guys all enjoyed. We're back again probably tomorrow with another episode. Um, I think next time we'll be working on the stronghold, but there's your little weekend diversion. Um, I, I mean, technically from the time I started designing this, even though I was gone most of it, from the time I started designing the lighthouse to get to putting together the few resources I needed um, and building this, I mean, it. all of this has happened in the last like nine hours, and I was gone for at least like six of those hours. So, I mean, it was a really a quick design, build, and do, and so I'm happy with it. Um, Actually, if you're wanting more... I mainly just Googled lighthouses for a bit and just picked out one that I liked and just said, okay, let's try to build this. Like, that's... I mean, I've, I've talked about it a couple of times about my building style in this game. When I'm trying to build real-life objects, that's usually what I go for. I just look at Google Images for a while. I look at a general idea, and then I try to convert that into a blocky style. Like, that's how I do. I don't copy other Minecraft builders very hardly ever. I copy real-life structures. <laughs> That's my version of copying and plagiarizing. I plagiarize actual things and make them my own. <laughs> but anyways, that's going to do it for today. On the note, have yourselves a great day. This has been Tanikan. <laughs> we will see you guys in the next episode of Tinecraft. Season 10. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Bye-bye.